just an old man on a bike and I'm going in, zooming in. Here we go, man. Hey, look at your boy, CGA back in the building. Guess what? I'm on a damn bike, electric bike that is. Gas prices too damn high. Housing prices all going crazy, man. It's time to make a change, man. No more big ass gas guzzling truck. CGA riding around in the bike. But hey, somewhere around here is the gentleman's lair. You know, I'm the Bruce Wayne of this. CGA back in the house. I'm also the king of content and the speaker of truth. Let's talk about this, man. We are somewhere near the gentleman's lair. I can't tell you specifically where we are or else you'll find out where the gentleman's lair is. Let's talk about this principle. This principle uh, of uh, the good, fast, and cheap, all right? If you watch my shows, I try to give you some things to think about when you're putting your mindset together, which we call the money mindset or the blue chip mindset. We call them either one. They're both interchangeable, all right? But it goes along with the free agent lifestyle, all right? And the principle is the good, fast, and cheap. Here's the thing. Most of us want quality. Anything we get, anything we get. You want a relationship? You want quality, right? You want a product or service, you want quality. So that goes with the good, that's the good. If you want something like that, if you want a service or a product, you probably want it fast. You probably don't wanna wait. Like a lot of you guys ordered my apparel. Some people ordered a specific line where you had to wait, all right? And that was a little uncomfortable. So when you order something, you want it now, that's your impulse. You want it fast. So that's where we get the fast principle. And then you also want it you have good and then you have fast and then you would like to have it as cheap as possible. You don't want to pay a lot of money for it. You want to pay a reasonable price for just about anything. As a matter of fact, you want it cheap. You don't want it expensive. So when you find something, you're like, damn, that's the quality I want. That's the price that I want. Right. And quickness to turn around. All right. So you got those principles, the good, the fast and the cheap. Ideally, we want something good. We want it cheap as possible and we want it as quick as possible. But unfortunately, the world don't work that way. Right. We all know that you might not get one of those things. Sometimes you will want all three. But the best you can hope for is two of those three. And this is what the expectations are that you would set for your clients if you're running a business or if you're receiving something, if you're on the other side of a business. At best, you're gonna get two out of three. And any good business person running a business, they're probably not gonna be able to give you all three. Let's just take a fast food restaurant. Take your favorite fast food restaurant. Let's say McDonald's, but McDonald's, I have nothing to do with your reputation here. Don't, don't mess with me, all right? McDonald's provides the certain qualities. They specify they want it fast and then they also want it cheap, right? It's a very inexpensive thing, but what they sacrifice is good, all right? They don't, they don't give you anything or very few things good. So that's the qualities that you have to sacrifice because it's cheap and it's fast, but it's not the best for you. Let me give you another example. Many people are getting electric cars. You saw me drive up on my electric bike. Many people are getting electric cars in which the electric car, it tends to be good, depending on how you, your experience with it. And it tends to be quality, right? You're getting good quality. You're getting that with the good. And it tends to come at a very good price, all right? They're lowering the prices so much that you can make it affordable. But what it doesn't have is fast. All right. When you order an electric car, most of the time a Tesla, we're talking about Tesla, Tesla, chill. All right. I'm not talking specifically about you, but everything's alleged. When you order a Tesla, it's almost custom made to order, which means you have to order it and they have to make it and then they deliver it to you. So you're getting good. You're getting quality but you're not getting it fast, all right? And so these are the principles that we tell you about. And then if you're running a business, we tell you to establish these expectations with your consumer. You want it good, fast, or cheap, pick two. And this is what you have to go about life. So if you're running a business, that's what you're, those are the standards that you set and the expectations you set for your clients. Now, for you as a person, as a consumer, you should have that same idea because if somebody can offer you something, they can offer you something good, all right? They can offer it to you fast and they can offer it to you cheap, it's too good to be true, all right? It's very much too good to be true because those probably don't exist. Now, here's the crazy thing that I always tell people, especially people that we call ham and eggers. We call them mouth breathers. We also call them knuckle draggers. We also say they're oxygen thieves, all right? Better known as NPCs. So what we tell them is set your expectations to probably get one if your money is not right. See, if you're cheap already as a person, you're already sacrificing that. Everything you do, you go to the grocery store, you buy the cheapest, all right? Everything you do, you go to the store, you buy the cheapest. Well, definitely you're gonna sacrifice on cheap already and you're definitely about to sacrifice on good. 
All right. Not only that, the best thing you're going to do is get it fast. And that's the sad part about it, because a lot of us are getting some of these things right. Your expectations are set there and you're already sacrificing one of the qualities. And then you're expecting high quality. You're expecting to become fast and you're expected to become uh, high quality and good. So we always try to set expectations for people just in the world in general. And unfortunately, when you're dealing with people who are sacrificing cheap, guess what? They have the highest expectations and they tend to ruin your business model right away. Let's say you're a business and you're providing a service to a person and they want it cheap for you. They're oftentimes gonna want it the best quality and they're gonna be disappointed. Not only that, they're gonna ruin your reputation and complain the most, okay? So if you start a business and the first thing you do is try to provide it to cheap people, you're probably gonna sacrifice your business in general. You want to make sure you're providing quality, not set on price. Anyway, man, speaking of price, let's take a look at this damn bike. All right, man, here it is right here. I gotta get, do the get along, gang, man. Forget that Porsche 911 junk, man. Forget all of that. Forget that truck, man. That'd be guzzling gas like crazy, plus it's flex fuel, and I can't find a flex fuel station. So I got my electric bike right here, man. Look, this thing goes 20 miles an hour on flat terrain. I'm not sponsored by them, but uh and it also goes up to almost 25 miles an hour if you're going downhill so you might want to wear a helmet to protect your nugget when you're on something like this but you can also test it out in the mountains if you want they got the big tires right there you can go in the mountain or all terrain and all that stuff so hey man you might see me attaching my groceries on the back of this thing at some particular point because whoo the world's getting expensive around here but with that in mind, I just want you guys to be conscious of those things, man, because, you know, I want you guys to really think about where you want to head in your direction. I encourage people to try to be self-sufficient, self-employed or starting their business. If you start a business in this time, some of the greatest businesses have been started during a recession. Depending on where you align politically, you might think there's a recession or not. I just want to give you a red pill here. We're in dire times. All right. Times are changing. And the faster you change and realize there's a change instead of being in denial, the more likely you will be able to survive and not only survive, thrive in the future. All right. The future is what you're preparing for. Listen, I want to live 50, 11 years. I might not live 50, 11 years, but I'm going to prepare like it. I want you guys to start thinking like that. This is your mindset. This is the mindset that I actually preach to people. All right. Good, fast. And then also you want it cheap. All right. So those are some of the things and you set the expectation. Pick two. Don't expect all three, especially if you're a service provider. If you provide a service or a product, try to set the people's expectations to that and not overpromise. One of the worst things you can do is overpromise and underdeliver. Overpromise and underdeliver. What you want to do is you want to set expectations. All right, promise what you know you can deliver and then you deliver it and you give it good. You give it the best quality ever so they can refer you and you can get that word of mouth business. That's how you make yourself successful. So anyway, man, do me a favor again. I don't even know if I did this or said this, but I'm going to say it again. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, Send me a couple of dollars or at least like this video. Oh, Lord, I'm on a bike. I'm on a bike. I was riding dirty. I was riding in the Porsche. I was riding in the truck. Now I'm on a bike. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. But do me a favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll give you some more principles to sleep on, man. And we out of here. Peace.